It's no secret that the Hades is one of my favorite pickaxes on Blossom Craft, and it's been long overdue, but I'm finally making a Hades item review video. And um, if you guys are new to my channel, I am Leonidas, aka Booster Juice, on the Lotus server. I stream every Saturday, 2 p.m. PST. I am now officially a Blossom Craft YouTube content creator. So huge shout out to you guys. If uh, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have made it this far. But jumping straight into the video, um, the Hades is one of my biggest money makers on Blossom Craft. It's one of my favorite pastimes. Mining is probably my favorite activity. We're going to look at the item itself. So the Hades pickaxe with the sick, sick gradient. It has efficiency five, fortune three, tunnel two with the tunneling effect. The description is. It's a living pickaxe that only has one goal, to get back to the underworld. And then the special effects that it gives you is it gives uh, you night vision, haste to, and breaks blocks with a tunneling effect. If you guys don't know what the tunneling effect is, it essentially when you're mining one block in the dead center, it blocks one block above, to below, left, and right. So it mines in basically a cross, and it, that's probably one of the reasons why it's my favorite pickaxe on the game. There's really nothing like it out there other than the Daikoku, which is um, not a pickaxe. It's a, it's a shovel, but with the same effect, essentially. And um, it would be such a waste to mine with just the Hades and no special effects in the gear. So in this video, we're going to also go over the gear that I use to maximize my profits with the Hades pickaxe. Starting off with the helmet, we have the Miner Hat. The Miner Hat gives you Haste 3 and Night Vision. Um, although the Hades already gives you Night Vision, the main reason why we're using the Miner Hat is because it gives you Haste 3. This is uh, going for around 200k on the market. Next up, we have the Odyssey Chestplate. And so the Odyssey Chestplate does nothing to contribute to the mining. It's essentially just a chest piece to keep you protected from the mobs out there. So moving forward, we have the Forest God Leggings from the recent uh, Forest God Crate. It only gives you Protection 3, but the reason why we use it is because special effect, it automatically picks up items that are mined. So it's very, very useful, especially if you're mining something that's uh, directly above lava and you don't want it to fall into the lava. You don't have to worry about that with the Forest God Leggings because it goes directly into your inventory if your inventory has enough space. Moving forward, uh, last but not least, we have the Cosmic Boots. Lots of special effects there with the Feather Falling 5, Protection 4. Although it's really great in protection, the main reason why we use it is because it gives us the Cosmic Balance uh, passive, which allows us to walk on lava. Um, the Cosmic Boots isn't the only item out there that actually has this effect. There is one more item out there that has a lava walking ability, and I do have it. It is the Magma Strider. I was initially using the Magma Strider until D actually gave me the Cosmic Boots. Huge shout out to D. But yeah, that is essentially the kit. Uh, last but not least though, there is something in your offhand or my offhand. It is the Equinox. So if you guys didn't know, there are some items that you can use on your offhand to give you some special abilities. Uh, the reason why I have the Equinox in my offhand is mainly for the Vein Miner. So when I'm mining straight forward with the Hades, I usually swap in and out with the um, with the Equinox to Vein Mine. Um, but not only that, when I have the Equinox in my offhand, it also grants me speed too. For yourself, I know the Equinox, this entire kit is very, very expensive. Keep in mind, I have been playing on Blossom Craft for over 10, 11 months now. Almost, it's almost been a year. One thing to keep in mind is going to be minor level. So if we go here and we look at jobs browse, the max level of mining and any any job that you have is level 100. Each time that you level up with a job, you gain 1% extra income mining whichever. So for example, if I break Deep Slate Gold Ore, I get 1197. It might be different for you because you're at a lower miner level. I'm at currently miner level 92 two or 91 i believe and that means i get 91 or 92 percent more in whatever i mine there's also other things that has an effect on my money making ability and it's going to be the resource world if you guys don't know what the resource world is essentially all you need to do is you do backslash wild then you go over to the resource world and you get 10 percent extra on which ever item that you mine in the resource world which is very crucial is it, it might seem small 10% but when you're mining for 2 3 4 5 hours it it's a lot it's a, it's a lot of money that adds up 
and I'm going to stop yapping. So essentially how I'm going to do this is since I'm not streaming, I can't record the my entire hour of mining, but I'm going to mine at deep slate level at negative 54. We just made it to Y level 50, negative 54. And the main reason why we're mining at Y level negative 54 is because this is where la you'll find lava. And uh, this is where we're going to utilize our cosmic boots, our lava walking boots. What we can do is now we can just mine straight in this tunneling effect. Anytime that we bump into lava, we don't have to worry about, you know, working our way around of it. We can just walk directly above it. This is a great, great ability to save yourself some time. I know that mining this way might not be as efficient as, for example, caving or actively looking on different levels but as you can see here we're using the cosmic boots and we get to just walk on top of lava we don't have to worry about it one reason why i use this method is it's because it's the most consistent it's the most consistent way to make money for me and it's also something that i don't mind tolerating blossom craft is a money making server so you're making money with the jobs you're trying to get a higher level on the job itself just so you can make more money at the end of the day so you can afford your blossom items you can afford your map art project and you can afford just whichever project that you are currently working on on the server but as you can see that's this is what i do uh, I rotate between the Equinox and the Hades. So I've already conducted this experiment. So I already know the numbers on how much I can make per hour using this method. With Deep Slate, we're making about $8 per tick. You do bump into a lot of redstone at this level, as well as gold and diamonds, and that's what we need. This is what my backpack usually looks like, and it's to maximize my time in the wild. It's so I don't have to constantly dump all the cobble deep slate the redstone that we don't need we actually get a huge huge amount the reason why we keep the raw gold and raw iron and the diamonds is because i can sell diamonds for around five dollars per piece on at my player warp shop the gold and iron i'm able to just smelt so not only am i making money from mining itself i'm also making money from smelting the items that i get so how much money do i make Per hour with the Hades. Well, using this method, I'm able to achieve somewhere between 28k to 30k uh, consistently. I I did this for around three three hours on stream, and yeah, 28 to 30k is uh, is the number that I'm comfortable with saying. At minor level 91, you might be making you if you have the Hades, but you're my, you're at a lower minor level. I would assume that you can make around 25k per hour using this money making method. The reason why I really like using this method is because it's also brainless. I'm able to just put a movie on the side. I'm able to just mine and I don't have to worry about actively mining. Most importantly, I'm able to do this method while streaming and I can pay attention to chat. That's pretty much it. It's kind of an underwhelming video. One thing I forgot to mention is that they recently nerfed the resource world. So my next item review is most likely going to be the adamantium. I've already made an adamantium money per hour, which was, uh, I forgot how much you make per hour with adamantium, but it was a huge sum of money. But after the nerfs, I'm very, very curious. So that's most likely going to be one of my future upcoming videos. This pretty much wraps up the Hades, the Hades highlight. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe and like button as well as comment. Again, I'm super, super grateful. I am now officially a YouTube content creator partner with blossom craft expect a lot more content to come we have a suggestions panel on discord so if you guys have any suggestions some things that you guys want me to review on the channel feel free to put it in the suggestions tab on my discord other than that i hope you guys have yourselves a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out Straight.